the Aster connector to Hortonworks and SQL H connector. And what this allows you to do is use um, real ANSI SQL queries to actually execute and run queries against data that's located in Hive and has its metadata described in each catalog. And so you see right here, we're actually querying a view that's located right here. VDailyPV is a view that's in Aster, and that view is it looks at um, data that's located in Hive and HCatalog. And as you can see, there's about 496 million records in that file. And what that file is in Hive is it represents all the topics that were searched for Wikipedia in March of 2012. So you can see that right up here. And we're actually going to start to run a um, NPath query um, that's going to look at data for these particular three days. It's going to look for spikes in topics that were uh, under 1,000 hits, went above 20,000 hits, and went back down below to 20,000 hits. And it may or may not have gone back to 20,000 hits. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get this running because it takes about, oh, about 80 seconds to run, considering uh, what we're we're doing that's pretty amazing. So while that's running, um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to explain the value of having a view representing data in Hadoop from Aster. Um, this is really important because what I can do with this view is I can put a predicate into the view and restrict the, the fields that they can see. I can restrict the depth of data. I can say this view only has data, access to data for these certain time periods. I can also do one thing that's really important. I can put security around this view via database role and grant permissions um, types of security around my Hadoop data. So not only can I restrict what fields they can see, but I can, I can restrict what depth of data they can gain access to. The other thing that's really important is that this is really truly a view. And if you look at, here's the statement that it would that would be used to actually create that view in Aster. And as you can see, it's simple, create view public v daily PV. And you're basically using the Aster load from H catalog connector. And of course you have your connectivity metadata and things like that. Of course it's obfuscated so that we can protect it. The other value here is that we are actually going against and we're running an NPath query. So we can run a SQL query. We could do a join between Aster tables, uh, Aster file system, uh, Teradata, and I, oh, it just came back after a minute and 29 seconds. Um, we can do a join between uh, Aster, Teradata. We also have an any database to Aster connector that we could use to connect to any JDBC data source. Um, but the neat thing is, is that I'm actually achieving some level of pruning on the data because the data in my Hive system is partitioned by day. So that means I'm only going after these three days. And so I'm achieving some level of partitioning and pruning that's going on there. Now, as you can see, I just ran a pretty significant query. I'm going to switch this over to grid view. I just ran a pretty significant query that looks for spikes and uh, behaviors of what people are topics that people are searching for inside of, um, inside of Hadoop. And here you go. Here's what you see. Um, you'll notice that um, these three particular areas right here are the areas that went from below 1,000 hits on this day, above 20,000 hits, and then back down below 1,000. Now, because of my, um, because of this little asterisk right here, that means that I will have ones that do come back with below 1,000 hits and ones that don't, and that's why you see the remaining sets here. Um, so that is pretty much uh, the conclusion of why uh, Aster and the SQL H connector are very powerful. What it allows you to do is discovery. It allows you to discover and look at data sets from Hadoop using Aster. You can use full ANSI SQL queries. You can do joins across those data sets using ANSI jo SQL joins. And then you can also take advantage of the power of Aster SQL MapReduce and SQL Graph capabilities from right here within this query editor. So that concludes my uh, presentation for today, and thank you very much.